Hi Gemini, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up and watching this video. If you've been subscribed for a long time or watching these videos for a long time, um, you might remember these stop drop roll readings. Now, those have since moved over to the Patreon site, but I'm doing them here for the end of the year, going into 2017. Uh, readings just because 2016 was total crap we had to learn a lot of lessons it was about tough changes and um, lessons we didn't want to learn were kind of forced upon us right changes that had to be made whether we were ready or not they were forced um, but that's because 2017 in numerology is all about new beginnings moving forward receiving wonderful blessings so um, we're following that theme with what should we stop doing what should we drop from our life? And then what should we roll with in 2017 in order to make ourselves open to receive these? So um, this is for anyone, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. What do we need to stop doing? Number one, um, <laughs> we need to stop pretending like we already know everything. Like we've already learned all of our lessons. Like we've already done all of the hard work because Unfortunately, there's a few more coming. Our cycle hasn't entirely ended yet. And that's because we still have lessons to learn um, based upon like paying attention to details, okay? Um, there are some details that we've overlooked. So maybe those lessons we don't have to learn a second time, but we definitely have to go back and revisit those in order to um, pick out like other items, you know, other things that maybe we overlooked at the time. Okay, does that make sense? Now, um, you'll, you might see me writing because as I've been doing a lot of personal readings recently and as I've been doing um, these readings here, I've been getting a lot of number messages that are very important. So I'm going to go over those at the end just because a lot of, um, I expect there will just be a, a shit ton. Okay, anyway. Angels, um, by the way, often will communicate with you by numbers, especially if you're new to your spirituality and you don't trust your intuition yet. So if you do notice that certain numbers show up and repeat themselves over and over, um, that is them usually trying to reach out to you and send along a message. So um, what do we need to drop from our life? Our, uh, maybe we haven't been defending ourselves enough. You know, maybe previously you could have been attacked where other people say, you know, why are you so defensive? Why are you not listening to what other people are saying? Like, why are you not being open to hear what they're saying? Okay, so then you took that to heart and you said, you know what, maybe maybe that, that hurts, but maybe I do need to change my communication style so that I can be a better communicator, so I can be a better listener. So people, um, you know, Geminis really do draw a lot of people to them. They never uh, run out of things to talk about. So they're really fun people to be around for the most part, but maybe some of you felt this year, you know, that you were kind of lacking friends and things like that. And so it caused some self-reflection um, that was painful. And so you thought, okay, I need to, to change that, but maybe you've changed it too far, you know, whereas now you're sort of a doormat and you kind of just let people trample all over you with their ideas and you need to stand up for what you believe in a little bit. And what it's saying here with this one um, as a challenge, and I've got to think about this for a second is more like, um, yes, there are things that you don't see, other people's perspectives that you don't understand. And I'm getting this a lot with like things based on really tough topics like, you know, politics, abortion, gun control, um, you know, racism, things like that. Um, things that really cause rifts between people. You have to admit there are things that you don't understand and you can maybe never understand. For example, as a white girl, I can never understand how maybe some of my black friends feel when um, they're pulled over or when something's said. You know, as much as I try to be empathetic and understand, there are so many layers of things that I just won't get and I'll never understand, no matter how much I want to. And so maybe that's something that you need to recognize, okay? So when we're talking about what we need to roll with, it says keep doing that self-reflection and keep making changes and growing in your spirituality and growing as a friend and as a human and as an empathetic person. Keep doing that. Keep doing the self-examination and of how other people perceive you, where other people's people are coming from. That was a big lesson for you. Um, but it's like don't um, – and maybe cut ties with people who do not serve the highest good of others, who don't care about and love other people so much. Like, if that doesn't align with who you are, then you don't need to be associated with them, unfortunately. Okay? Now, what else is it 
that we need to know. Um, okay, so where do I want to go with this one? I'm going to come back to that one because I need a clarifier here. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so with these cards here, what I'm getting, we've got the Eight of Cups, we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse, and then the Ten of Cups. So what I'm really getting here is like some of us have to walk away from people, things, circumstances, organizations that we really loved. And maybe we still have our heart in it a little bit, but we realize it's not good for us. And this is necessary for us to heal and then move towards, you know, what is for our highest good, towards our own happiness, towards our joy, um, where we're like actually overflowing with love and our life just feels perfect and we can't even believe how wonderful it is. Because it's saying we can get there. We can get there this year, but it does require us to walk away from something that we've invested a lot of time, energy, love, focus into, okay? So for example, um, how old was I? Probably, oh my gosh, this is so long ago, but I was probably like 17. I moved out early, I was living on my own, and I had started making money at my job. I was waitressing, and I was like, gosh... You know, I have extra money. I'm going to give it to this charity because I don't want to see little babies starving and dying. Like, it just it doesn't make sense to me that I can't help them, right? So I start giving them my money, and then, you know, you get these little letters in the mail. Thank you for your contribution. And I start reading the fine print, and then I find out that, you know, most of the money that I was giving to this cause wasn't actually going to these starving children around the world who needed the food. It was actually going to like um, governments or militaries or something like that. And that really upset me. Um, so I had to cut ties with that, right? And I had to heal and I had to learn that maybe um, not every, my intentions were good, right? And I wanted to help. But maybe helping in that way wasn't the right answer. I had to heal. I had to forgive them. I had to forgive myself for being silly and foolish when I could have given that money to a different cause. But then when you figure that out and how you can better help people, then you're overflowing with even more love and joy and feeling really, really good about what you did for somebody else. And that's actually the secret to happiness, right? Um, so anyway, we're going to get to your number messages. And your number messages start with, the angels are sending you divinely guided ideas, so trust their validity and act upon ideas that stimulate your interests, okay? So if you get these new ideas like, hey, this will bring me joy, like I'm going to take a pottery class, um, might seem silly, but maybe you're getting that just to raise your vibration because every time we feel happiness and joy, you know, our vibration lifts and then we can do better for other people. Um, the next one. No matter what's going on around you, keep the faith that it's all going to work out because your faith makes a positive difference in the outcome, believe it or not. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but it does, actually. Um, and that's the whole thing about worrying, too. You know, the more that you worry about something, um, it, it doesn't actually affect the outcome, right? So you might as well have positive thoughts because that's how miracles happen. The more positive thoughts that you put out there, the more prayers that you put, the more faith that you have, um, the more often you'll see miracles in your life. So it says, have faith that you'll be able to support yourself as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be a humanitarian effort. You know, it doesn't have to be something extreme, but everybody does have a purpose. And um, everybody's purpose is important. So even if you're an artist, even if you're a painter, um, maybe you'll create a painting one day that really speaks to somebody, that makes them appreciate art or that inspires them to seek out their divine life purpose. You never know like how even a little smile can affect somebody else's day and change their life. So your pure faith is attracting every good thing, person, and opportunity to you. So the message really for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, is to um, have faith, be optimistic, have positive thoughts. Thank you for continuing to self-reflect and grow and evolve as a human because not everybody does that. Um, but, you know, don't be so hard on yourself is the other thing too, okay? Love and light. Oh, one more. One more number message. It says that the Ascended Masters have heard your prayer and um, in specific about your career or your finances, okay? And so they want you to focus on um, spiritualizing your work life. And I feel like maybe it was, who was it? 
I think it could have been Sagittarius. I could be wrong, but had a similar message where um, it says, you know, if you think, how could I spiritualize my work life? Maybe you work in retail, okay? And you're like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, I work at the Gap. <laughs> um, but it does make sense because you could suggest an outfit to somebody that makes them feel so good about themselves, that enhances their self-worth. So they leave there feeling happy, putting, you know, a smile on their face. And they smile at a stranger and it puts a smile on their face and it just smiles all over the world. Like, you don't even know. So as long as you're just a good person and, you know, you're being um, your joyous, loving self, you are spiritualizing your work life no matter what you do. Maybe um, here in Minnesota we just opened up an Amazon shipment center. Maybe you work at Amazon and you're picking orders, right? But you're doing a really good job of making sure you get them right. That is something that other people can be thankful for. And, um, you know, like you can spiritualize your work life. You could... Lay your hands on that item and say, you know, bless this item and the person that's going to receive it. You, you don't even know your power. So, love and light, Gemini. I will see you for your love readings and your general readings in January. Till then, mwah, oh my goodness, look at that. I was going to hit stop and the video time is at 11.11, which is all about positivity and optimism. So, definitely carry that into 2017. Okay, bye.